I'm here at Franklin County High School where a brave teenage girl is refusing to let terminal cancer hold her back from celebrating her senior year. And this week, during homecoming, students are rallying behind her. Yellow ribbons line the senior hallway, showing 17-year-old Kayla Spangler that she's not alone in her fight against brain cancer. Have hope in this world, you know. Never take life for granted. You know, life can change in an instant. And for Kayla, life turned upside down in an instant. It was a few years ago when she crashed her ATV. And took her to the doctors a couple of days later because she was complaining of headaches. And she told the doctor that she wasn't wearing a helmet. And I was like, well, you should have never said that. But luckily she did because that's the only reason that they found out that she had these tumors was because they did a head CT scan. Despite receiving the terminal diagnosis, Kayla continues to make the most of her senior year. And on school days, she can be typically found in the classroom of Tanya Wirtz. Kayla's a rock star and someone that anybody and everybody should look up to. Of everything that she's going through, thinking of how strong she is and the smile that she has on her face all the time. It doesn't matter what she's going through. That girl is still always smiling and, and happy all the time. It's homecoming week here at Franklin County, and today's students are voting for this year's homecoming queen and king, and among the candidates is Kayla. It would mean a lot, you know. I never thought that I'd be nominated or even with a big thing like that. And to see Kayla crowned as homecoming queen would also mean the world to her teachers. Um, to think that the kids think that much of her, and being able to make her feel that extra special um, is exactly what she needs at this time in her life. And Franklin County will announce the homecoming winners during Friday night's football game. And no matter the outcome, Kayla serves as an inspiration to many. She's amazing. Anybody can tell you she's just, she's not going to let anything get her down. She's, she's going to remain strong and she's going to prove to the world that, you know, she's, she's going to do everything in her power to beat this. Um, and, and I tell everybody if they come across her and they meet her that I wish the world could be just like her. Covering Southeast Indiana, I'm Stephen Harmeyer.